So someone asked me, if I compare these two ions, which is more basic, which is more nucleophilic, both sulfur and oxygen come from the same group of the periodic table, group number 6, the Chalcogen series. So they have similar properties, chemical property, and on each of these atoms, there are lone pairs, in fact three of them, surrounding them. Which means to say that they are able to act as a base to form a bond with H+, or we can attack a carbon that carries a partial positive charge, meaning this carbon is electron deficient. So for this example, let me just use an alkyl halide to depict this. Maybe a chlorine. Okay. A primary alkyl halide with three H's around it. Okay. Now let's compare the nucleophilicity first of these two ions. To be a nucleophile, you need to attack an electron deficient carbon atom or any atom and to eject another molecule or another fragment or the atom. In this case, the good living group is a chlorine. So we expect that this sulfur, using the lone pair, can attack this carbon and eject the chlorine. The same goes with the oxygen. But the difference is, sulfur is much larger, so that means the orbital, if I'm to depict it, this is a sp3 orbital coming from period 3. So 3, sp3 orbital. Now this 3 doesn't mean it's 3 times of this. We are talking about n equals to 3. The quantum number is 3. Which means to say that this orbital is much larger. Okay. This size. N equals to 3, sp3, compared to the oxygen here with N equals to 2. If you compare the relative size, for this case it will be smaller. Okay. Similar shape, but smaller. Now, these are full of electrons, these are orbitals regions of electron spaces. So when they want to form a bond with carbon here, they need to go close and allow this carbon orbital to overlap with this orbital to form bonds. Which one do you think is easy to form a bond with this carbon? Sulfur. Why? Sulfur electron orbital is larger, it's more extensive. That means it doesn't have to go so near this carbon to overlap with this orbital and form a bond. Whereas for this oxygen, think of it like having a shorter arm, this orbital, shorter arm, so you need to go close enough to this carbon and overlap with this orbital here, then you can form a bond. So that's why for hydroxide, it's harder to form a covalent bond with carbon compared to SH negative ion. So with this reason, SH minus is a better nucleophile than OH minus because it just stands far, far apart and then just push and poke it out. That's easy. Now to compare the basicity of these two ions, we need to see how easy for it to overlap with the orbital of H+. Now H is in pure 1, so it only has a 1s orbital that's really tiny, like a sphere, 1s. So now we know the answer, which of these orbital could overlap better with 1s? You got it? Is the hydroxide because of the similar size and energy.